Hey there, welcome back to Kiki Greenhouse. In today's video, I'll be talking about when to harvest beets. So as you can see beside me, we have a little patch of beets and some of them are ready to harvest. We've also already harvested some, so I'm gonna go through some of the tactics that we use to know when to pick them. So the first method to use is, when did you plant your beets? Most beet varieties will take about 55 to 65 days from planting until they're ready to harvest. So just count back to the day that you planted your beets and if it's been about two months or six to eight weeks, then your beets should be just about ready to harvest. But that's assuming everything went perfectly according to plan, you spaced your beets properly, they got off to a good start and they had plenty of sunshine. But there are situations like we have here where we have this big towering broccoli plant casting some shade over some of the beets and that led to slower development on some of the plants. So in a situation like this, you can look at the base of the plant right around the crown of the root to get an idea of how big that root has become. If you plant it at the proper depth, which is about a half an inch below the surface of the soil, then the top of the beetroot should be surfacing above the soil. This way it's really easy to see the approximate diameter of your beets, and they should be at least about the size of a golf ball is a rule of thumb, but they can also grow to be much larger. You can start harvesting beets when they're about the size of a golf ball, but many people will prefer to let them go a little longer, get a little bigger. The only thing to consider there is temperature. If you're getting into those hotter months where the temperatures are going above, say, 80 degrees Fahrenheit or so, beets can start to bolt, at which time you need to harvest those as quickly as possible. Otherwise, the root can become woody and kind of hard to eat. If this does happen and your beets are starting to flower, you can still harvest and eat the greens. They're even more flavorful and they're full of nutrients, but the beetroot itself becomes sort of woody and hard and doesn't really soften up when you cook them. But I sort of like to harvest as we go. Like I said, we already harvested a few of our beets a few days ago and a few more of them are now ready. And as you harvest the larger beets, you're sort of freeing up space for the smaller ones in between to get more sunlight and to grow to maturity. And one last method you can use if you can't see the surface of the beet is just to look at the canopy of the leaves and see how full that plant looks. The larger the leaves, more likely than not, the beet root itself is also larger. Beets are also a great candidate for succession planting. So you could plant, say, a dozen beets on one week and then two weeks later plant another dozen and another dozen two weeks after that. That way, every two weeks or so, you're having fresh beets to harvest throughout the season. So I'm just gonna pluck these two here. They look ready. They're about an inch and a half in diameter and they're blocking out some of the light from these nearby beets and so we'll give them a little more energy to finish. Well, you just wanna gently wiggle it out. And we got this beautiful little beet. And like I said, these could go longer, but it is getting into those hotter months here where we are and I actually like them small, they're really sweet, they're tender, delicious, and we can eat all of these greens as well, so it's sort of like a double harvest. So here are some examples of beets that are not ready. The surface of this one is only about maybe a centimeter, centimeter and a half in diameter. Same with this one next to it and this one as well. And those behind there are not ready either. So hopefully now they'll have a little more sunshine now that those two large beets are out of the picture. I'm gonna let these go a, a few more days. They do grow pretty quickly at this stage. So if you want larger beets, then you're just gonna need to wait and give them a little more time. But I actually like them when they're pretty small and they're just tastier and quicker to cook as well. So that's all, just wanted to do a quick video sharing when to pick your beets. It's really easy. They're some of the easiest vegetables to grow. Super nutritious, delicious. And be sure to share your favorite beet varieties in the comments below. We love trying different varieties every year. Thanks for watching Geeky Greenhouse and I'll see you next time.